In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to make non-traditional dog tags with a custom logo in Inkscape version 0.45. What I mean by non-traditional dog tags is that I don't intend to illustrate the text that represents the military markings. I'll illustrate the basic shape and include a custom logo instead. So, yeah, I'm going to do it my way. So let's begin. Alright, the first thing that we're going to select is our rectangle tool and we're going to draw a rectangle. We'll draw something about like uh, about like that. And I have a 12 for a stroke size. And I have the uh, corners capped. So you may want to go in and uh, select this and select that. Okay, now I'm going to double click on this and we're going to give this a little bit of a curvature. And I'm going to drag this down to the center and pull this in about like this. There we go. Make this just a little bit taller. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is draw a perfect circle. So we do that by holding the control key down, selecting our circle tool. And I'll grab something about that big. Okay, and I'm going to duplicate this. I'll right click on it, hit duplicate, and we're going to slide our duplicated copy over to about right there. We're going to select both items. We'll do a path and a difference. That gives us that little dog ear. Next thing I'm going to do is select both shapes again. We'll select our line and distribute icon. We'll do last selected and I'll do horizontal and vertical alignment. And we'll push this over to here. Looks about good. And I'll window around both shapes and we'll do a difference. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape and duplicate it. And I'm going to change the stroke color just so I can see it to a red. And I'm going to turn the fill off. And now that I have it selected, I'm going to select my node tool path, dynamic offset. Whoops. I think the first thing that I should do is probably change the stroke size. So let's do that now. Let's give it about a 4. There we go. I'm going to zoom in on this so you guys can see it. And I'll select that again. We'll go to our node tool, path, dynamic offset. And I'm going to pull that down about right there. I'm going to select that um, red stroke, the shape, and we're going to right click and duplicate that. And for this one, and we'll do it this way. I'm going to hold my shift key down, we'll select our eyedropper, change its color, we'll select our node tool, path, and dynamic offset. And I'm going to pull this one down until I get, until it touches, you know, the inside of the red. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now that I've got what I want, I'll take our blue. And we're going to change the uh, stroke color to an uh, about 90% black, I guess. That'll do. And our red version, we're going to change white. Okay, and I'll show you what we're doing in just a minute here. We're going to select our white copy and we're going to give it a blur. We'll give it a, we'll try 0.5 to start. A little bit more, we'll try a 0.6. Okay. And leaving that open, 
I'm going to grab our black copy, select stroke, and do a linear gradient. And I'm also going to give that about a, we'll try a 5 for a blur. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. I want to create uh, an inset. So I'm going to select the, the black copy here, select our gradient tool. And this will give it just a little bit of a shadow. Let me zoom in on that so you can see. So it makes it look like this surface is inset a little bit. Okay, now what we're going to do is I want to take this gray stroke on the outside of my shape and give it a, uh, a gradient. So I'll select it. And we will go and make a linear gradient. And I'll select it again. And we're going to do an edit. And we're going to go to our very last stop. Turn the opacity back to full. And we'll go to our first stop. Make it just a little bit darker. And we're going to add a stop. The stop in the middle, we're going to give it uh, we're going to make it just a, about just about a little over halfway on the on the black there. And we'll pull that over just a little bit. And that kind of gives it a, a sense of depth around here. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring in a, a pattern style. And uh, this is something that you can find um, just about anywhere on the Internet. Um, there are uh, many, many uh, places to find textures. So let me bring in a texture here. This is basically a, uh, a metal texture with some uh, raindrops on it. I'm not, I'm not so concerned with the raindrops because they're, they're kind of, uh, they blend into the background a little bit. So anyways, this is the texture that I'm going to use. So I'll go to Path. I'm sorry, actually it's Object, Pattern, Objects to Pattern. Then I'm going to delete this texture. And again, you can use just about any kind of texture that you want. I'll select this uh, outside shape. Go to our fill and stroke, and I'll select pattern. And that kind of gives us a nice texture on this dog tag. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is bring in my logo. So let's zoom out just a little bit. And your logo can be anything uh, that you've drawn already. I'm going to bring in my, uh, my Heathen X Triskel logo. So we'll bump that down just a little bit. And that probably looks pretty good right there. Okay. So let me zoom back up on that. Okay, now what we're going to do here, let's move this down just a little bit, about right in there. Okay, I'm going to take this SVG and duplicate it, and I'm going to change its color so we can see what we're doing. I'll select the red copy, I'm going to pick the node button, and we're going to do a dynamic offset. Okay, now you're looking for the white box. Select that again. And we're going to pull this down just a little bit, just so I have uh, what appears to be like a black stroke uh, around, the, uh, around the SVG file. Okay, 
Now that I have that, what I'm going to do is take this red version and we're going to move it down. I'm going to hold the control key down and we're going to move it down until I get um, the red to almost blend into the bottom of our black copy. That leaves the top a little thicker. Let's see what that looks like here. Trying to simulate a little bit of a, a, a 3D entity here. Let me zoom back in on this. Okay. Now, I'm going to select our red copy again. Right click and duplicate. Now I'm going to make this copy white. I'm going to right click on the white copy and duplicate. And I'm going to move this down and make it yellow. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is select the yellow copy and our white copy. And I am going to do an, a path difference. Okay, and what that's going to give me is a white highlight around this logo. And I'm going to take this white highlight and we're going to give it a blur effect. So we'll give it about a 0.5%. We'll see what that looks like. And we've got to go a little bit more. We'll try just one. And a little less now. We'll try 0.7. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And for the copy in the back, if we can grab it, our black copy, we're going to give it a blur effect of a 0.2 and we're going to lighten it just a little bit so it's not quite so dark. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. There we go. Now we're going to take our red copy, highlight that, we're going to go to our fill and stroke dialog and select pattern. And we're going to give it just a little bit of a blur. We'll try a point three and see what that looks like. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. You don't want to blur it too much because it will blur the the actual texture. We'll try a four. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And now let's zoom out on this. And hopefully, what I've simulated is a surface that's protruding out from the dog tag here. So it looks like it's stamped from underneath. And I think that probably looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to take, let's see here, I'm going to take everything that I see here and I'm going to group it together. And I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more. Okay, and what we're going to do is, let's see here, I'll take this, right click and duplicate, and I'm going to slide this one up a little bit, and the one behind it, see if we can slide it down, see which way looks the best here. Now, let's go it this way. Okay, and we'll take this one again, and we'll move it down just a little bit, about like so. And I'll hold the control key down and move it down, Get something about like that. Okay, I'm going to select both items this time. Just tilt it just a little bit. There we go. All right. I'll move up here. And I'm going to take the top shape. We're going to duplicate that. I'm going to slide this over here. I'll show you what I'm doing in just a second. I want to create a uh, drop shadow. So I'm going to take this whole shape. 
ungroup it, and we're going to get rid of everything. Okay, and we're going to make this about a 90% black, and we're going to give the stroke about a 90% black. Actually, let's go just a little lighter yet, and we'll make the stroke lighter. There we go. I'll select that. We'll go to our fill and stroke dialog, and we'll give this about a, we'll try a 1.5% for the blur. I think two might look better. And drop that down a little. Okay, and I'll slide this over here. And we want to make sure it's behind everything, so we're going to lower the level. Okay, and we'll move this around. I think that looks pretty good. So let's zoom out and see what we have here. Okay, let me turn my border off. Where we can zoom in a little bigger. And there is our finished product. There we have a dog tag shape with a custom logo protruding from uh, the dog tag surface. And that's pretty much the tutorial. So thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.